Hi, I'm Jay Watto, maker of weird and strange instruments. A few years ago when I started with circuit bending, I was poking around some wires in my Super Nintendo. At that moment I found some very cool visual glitches. Today I had the great idea to trigger those glitches with MIDI. So I can control it with a computer or a sequencer. The fun thing about circuit bending is that you almost don't have to know anything about electronics. Just connect two points together on a circuit board and hope something cool would happen. Just just a little side note, if you are capable enough to find where the power source is coming from, try to stay away from those points. Then you will be okay most of the time. Now let's find some cool points and connect them together. Before I start to connect some random points, I will make a picture of this circuit board. And print it out so I can mark the points that I have found and want to connect. I think soldering on the back side of the PCB is much better. These little pads are easier to solder to than directly soldering my wires to the chips, pins. There is a very big pad on the back and I think it's just the ground connection. When I connect this to anything over here, I already get some cool visuals. There's a very cool spot over here that just messes up the whole video channel. If I connect that point to one of the other points I found, you get this really weird glitchy stuff now let's solder some wires onto these pads now let's test if everything still works so the pcb still works but there is only one problem where is mario i have to look back at my old footage if mario was already gone <laughs> okay mario was never there I just remembered I was fixing a Super Nintendo for a friend of my brother years ago. And that guy told me he couldn't see Mario when he was playing the game. I couldn't find what was wrong with that Super Nintendo. So I just changed out the whole PCB board. And I think I'm using that PCB board right now. So there was never really a Mario. I just took that PCB board out of my junk box. So yeah, it will be a Mario-less visual glitch. Thingy. Before I wire everything up, I want to see if this experiment will even work. So I made a little prototype on a breadboard. This Arduino changes from 0 to 5 volt every 200 milliseconds on this pin. When that pin that is also connected to this transistor is at 5 volt, the wires coming from the SNES should connect to each other, creating a visual glitch. And when the pin from the Arduino is at 0 volt, the wires shouldn't be connected. So it's almost as if I would connect these wires manually, but now I can control it just with this Arduino. Now let's plug one of these wires in and see if everything works. It should oscillate. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try another wire. Cool. Oh wow. Now I have to add a transistor for every wire coming from the Super Nintendo. Instead of reinventing the wheel, I could just reuse one of my older PCB boards that are designed to trigger solenoids. These transistors will then connect the wires and my Super Nintendo together. Instead of connecting the solenoids to power like I did in my last video where I used this PCB to make my drummer guitar. This will spare me a lot of time because then I don't have to use one of these perf boards. Now let's solder everything together. Most of the soldering is finally done. I still need to connect this PCB board to the power of the Super Nintendo. And I also need to connect a USB port and a MIDI port so I can control the visuals with my music gear. I already made a sexy 3D printed front panel for my Super Nintendo. Sexy. Now let's connect all of these components and do some testing and hope everything will work. Let's test this thing out. If I push one of these buttons, the visuals should be glitching. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Wow. 
let's try some different cartridges. <laughs> oh, let's try another different cartridge. Let's try Mario Kart. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pinball! It's so glitchy. The original idea was to use this hacked Super Nintendo for VJing. So let's hook this thing up to my Beamer and create a little live setup with all of my music gear. I already made some music for my live set. And this is how I will control my visuals during my performance. The Super Nintendo's visual glitches are triggered by MIDI. So if I just program some random MIDI notes, the visual glitches would be triggered at that exact moment. Nice. Cool. If you like the content that I've made so far, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And now it's finally time to make some music.